friends, welcome back to my channel. This is Cheryl with I Style, My Style. And if you are new here, welcome. I love all things home decor. I love decorating my home with style on a budget while making it look a lot more expensive than it really is. So if that is something you are interested in as well, please make sure you hit that subscribe button and smash that notification bell and become a member of the I Style, My Style family. And to all my returning family members, thank you so much. You guys have given me such great support. I greatly appreciate each and every one of you. I can't tell you how much you mean to me. I love reading your comments. You guys are always so supportive and so helpful. And I just really appreciate your support. So thank you, thank you, thank you. Um, today's video is part of a collaboration and is being hosted by three wonderful ladies here on YouTube. And that is Marilyn from Fabulous Designs on a Budget, Kimberly Davis from Diva Designing on a Dime, and styled by Kira. And her name is Kira. And it is the Green with Envy Tablescape collaboration. And what the ladies have asked us to do is just to create a tablescape and it had to feature green as the major component. If you have not visited the ladies' channels, please make sure you go over and check them out. They do tons of DIYs. They do decor, um, decorating, list designs, tablescapes, um, just everything that you would want to see in your home or home decor, those ladies have it. So make sure if you have not subscribed or checked out their channels, please go over and check them out and let them know that I sent you. So let's get on with my green with Envy Tablescape. Now you guys know my signature colors are black and white, so I don't use a lot of color when I decorate in my home but I do use greens. So I wanted to participate in this collaboration and just give you a different take on my Green with Envy tablescape. So I'm going for a more modern and elegant tablescape. And I actually call this tablescape Fall into Fall because these are the colors that I am going to be using for fall very muted greens. Um, roses, I know they are a summer flower, but I like the white color and I think they pair well with the muted greens. So this is my fall into fall tablescape, also known as the green with envy tablescape. So the tablescape is very simple. I used items that I have around my home. I didn't go out and buy anything. Um, just items I already had. So we'll start with the centerpiece. At the bottom, you'll see green grass and back over last spring, or not last spring, this past spring, just before um, all the stores shut down. No, it's actually right after the stores opened back up after they had shut down. I went into Hobby Lobby looking to see if I could find some of that wonderful Easter decor that everyone showed before COVID started and all the stores shut down. They were getting great deals on Easter clearance and I wanted to see what I could find. Sadly, there was nothing in my stores, um, but these little green it looks like patches of grass. And so I picked up six of, the, six of them and I wanted to use them as part of a centerpiece. So this is my first one using those little bits of grass. They were normally $4.99 and I paid 49 cents because it was 90% off. So I just love it. That is the base for our Green with Envy Tablescape. And then we have my muted green florals. Um, you guys, I showed you these in a haul, and I picked these up from Target, the Target Bullseye Playground, and I ordered them online. They are normally $9.99, and I got them on sale 
and it's a bundle of three for $4.99 and I got several bundles so I'm using those. These little vines I picked up from Walmart. They were $3 and I picked up three of those vines. The roses also came from Walmart. They were $3. Um, so you've seen the roses many times before and the greenery, the, the green florals, I picked those up from the Target dollar spot. As I said, it was right after the stores had opened back up this year because I was going to use them for fall. So hence the fall into fall. So after that, I added um, some, I was thought outside the box and I'm doing something unconventional, but I always do that. Think outside the box is one of my mottos. This is actually a canister that I picked up from the Goodwill and it was a set of four and they were $8.99. Now these canisters actually came from Ikea and someone had sold, been trying to sell them at a yard sale for a dollar, but apparently no one bought them, so they took them to the Goodwill. Now, the Goodwill bumped up their price on it, and they were charging $2 for each. Actually, $2.50, or a little over. No, $2.25 because it was four for $8.99, which I thought was a little steep. But I like the frosted glass, and hey, we're doing some Goodwill by supporting the Goodwill. But still, does anyone else think Goodwill is like raising their prices of like, I remember I could go thrifting and get like tons of stuff at the Goodwill for like 50 cents, 75 cents, a dollar. And now it's like all like $2, $3, $8, $7. I'm thinking, wow, Goodwill. But I digress. So anyway, this is the canister that I picked up and I just took the lid off and I hot glued it to a candlestick because I like the silver base and I thought it would make a perfect candle holder. And so that, that is what I'm using for my candles. And I love the look. Um, the glasses I also picked up from Goodwill. Um, these are actually crystal stemware. And I picked these up and they were 59 cents a piece. And I just love the pattern Look how it sparkles. I just absolutely love them. And you can't beat 59 cents for crystal. Now I picked these up at a different Goodwill and I'm surprised I was able to get them for 59 cents. I guess they didn't know they were actually crystal. So I actually love those. And I picked up a set of the wine glasses and a set of the water glasses. So absolutely love that. The silverware, believe it or not, also came from the Goodwill. Now I know you're thinking, Cheryl, why would you buy silverware from the Goodwill? Hey guys, it's metal. It can be sterilized, okay? And they were, um, I wanna say 25 cents a piece. And I picked up a full set to decorate the table. So I absolutely love those. If you could see, it has a mirrored hammered finish. I have silverware like this, kind of, sort of, but not like in this detail. So I absolutely love it. This one has like a little rust mark on it that I need to get off. But again, being stainless steel, it can be scrubbed off easily. Our place setting is very simple. Again, I am using my green placemats that I picked up from Pier 1 several years ago. I just love how they look. These are the fur placemats. Um, and I don't remember how much they were, but I'm sure you can probably find something similar on Amazon. I am using a Dollar Tree charger. So this is really a very budget friendly tablescape, guys. Um, this charger is a plastic clear charger plate and I bought these, it was a pack of six from Amazon and I got them because I saw another lady, she had picked up some black iron chargers from Home Goods, and you guys know I love my black and white and so I bought these to spray paint black as decor, but 
I don't know, I kind of like how they look on the table. I might leave them the way they are. We'll see, we'll see how it goes. Oh, the napkin came from Pier 1. It was, I tried to iron it, but I guess I didn't do a really good job. But um, again, I don't know how much it was. I've had them for several years and they just have this silver detail that I absolutely love. And I thought it would pair perfectly with my sophisticated um, Green with Envy tablescape. This um, plate came from Hobby Lobby. Again, it was part of their, um, actually it was part of their spring shop. And I picked these up. These were 75% off. Kimberly, I know you have these because I saw them in your haul. And I picked them up from the same reason that you did. It's that they reminded me of Mackenzie Child. I like the muted green color, and really, that's pretty much the only color I typically decorate my home in, so I went ahead and picked those up because I like that color. Um, these little appetizer plates I picked up from TJ Maxx. They were on clearance, yep, $2, still has a tag on them. And these little plates I picked up from Crate and Barrel several years ago. They're ice cream bowls. And so I am just using them in this table setting. And I just love the way it looks. It's very simple, yet elegant to me. Let me know what you think. Do you? I know it's a very simple tablescape, but I don't think you have to go over the top um, to create a very nice, and sophisticated table. So I think it's just sleek and elegant. So leave me a comment down below. Let me know what you think. So again, this is my Green with Envy tablescape. Um, a little outside the box, I guess you would say. It's not your all out, bam, popping your face green. It's more of a muted, soft, sophisticated green. And I try to make it elegant by using the crystal dinner glasses. So if you have enjoyed the video, please make sure you give it a like. Leave me a comment down below. Let me know what you think. Again, I love it. I am probably gonna leave this up for a while. And yeah, this is how the tablescape is looking. I like it. So I hope you do as well. Again, I will leave a, a link for the ladies' channels down below. Thank you so much, Marilyn, Kimberly, and Kara for hosting this collaboration. I love participating in Tablescape collaborations. I just haven't been able to do that so much lately. So I was glad I was able to participate in this one. And I know there is another one coming up and I am going to participate in that one as well. So if you are not subscribed and you have enjoyed today's content, please make sure you hit that subscribe button so you do not miss any upcoming videos. So that is all I have for you today, my friends. I hope you had an awesome day. And remember, always strive to be better tomorrow than you were today. And I will see you in the next video. Bye-bye, friends.